everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. All right, good people. We've got big news out of T-Mobile. Uh, according to this headline, time to unleash network slicing. All right, so T-Mobile is pushing the innovation piece of their business. Uh, they've been doing a lot with respect to standalone 5G networking, and now they've kind of gone, you know, and made that announcement officially that they're the world's first nationwide 5G standalone network, and they can now kind of innovate with features specifically like network slicing. Okay, so they're announcing that with this new network management capability, uh, they can start to run different types of individualized slices or boxes, customized boxes within their network that allow unique type of network experiences for different types of traffic, different types of things like, you know, throughput, uh, latency, you know, whether it's for gaming or it's for, you know, home internet, the possibilities of what they can build are basically endless, right? So it kind of puts them in a unique position because neither AT&T nor Verizon have announced any type of official nationwide launch of their standalone 5G network course. T-Mobile kind of pushing the envelope in respect to that. And it does kind of give them that first to market, you know, bragging rights. And this is something that, you know, T-Mobile has been pushing, you know, since they've kind of moved on from LTE. They they didn't win LTE, right? So their their thought process is let's win in 5G. You know, they kind of got the 5G stimulus package with the T-Mobile merger with Spectrum, with the um, 2.5 gigahertz. And then since then, they've really been trying to get out ahead of this. So when they market and they brand themselves, you know, that's part of what they show and that's part of what they push. And it's become kind of like, you know, the T-Mobile story and the T-Mobile narrative. So interesting to see when we see the first implementations of this and how it benefits customers. Specifically, it's gonna be more so the business use cases but in the major outcome of it all is the consumer getting the benefit because of, you know, those experiences and things like that. So it's really exciting. I, for one, am really excited about this because I'm a network tech enthusiast through and through. And these are the things that get me excited. I'm sure some of you will have mixed feelings about this because a lot of you have seen first to market approaches, you know, things being kind of half baked and not really being ready for prime time, especially when it comes to 5G. And some people have been critical about the true, the true to life performances of the T-Mobile network, but all that, you know, notwithstanding, I think it's worth celebrating that we've got some cool features up and coming as consumers. So it's exciting. Uh, but what do you guys think? Uh, you guys agree with me that this is exciting and very cool to come to market and, you know, kind of celebrating it, or do you have concerns that T-Mobile may not be able to deliver, you know, something differentiating or different than the other carriers could provide? I'd uh, love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.